engage the minds of all thoughtful people as well as of all suffering people. We have much to do, and I ask therefore for patience on your part. When one enters the realm of healing, esoteric knowledge, esoteric knowledge, esoteric knowledge, and is an infinity of conclusions, and one is faced with the formulations of many minds, who, through the ages, have sought to heal and to help. The why and the wherefore of disease have been the subject of endless investigations and speculations, and much definite deduction has been made as to the series of such complaints. There has been also much technique, a trickery, a trickery, a trickery, a prescription, a varied manipulation, and a theory. All these serve to cement mind with many ideas, some correct, some erroneous, and this makes it most difficult for new ideas to enter and for the student to assimilate the hitherto unknown. Aspirants lose much by refusing to let go of that which the lower mind cherishes. When they do succeed in being incredibly open-minded and are ready to accept the new theories and hypotheses, they discover that the old and dearly held truth is not really lost, but only relegated to its rightful place in a larger scheme. All initiates of the ageless wisdom are necessarily healers, though all may not heal the physical body. The reason for this is that all souls who have achieved any measure of true liberation are transmitters of spiritual energy. This automatically affects some aspect of the mechanism which is used by the souls they contact. When I enjoy the word, mechanism, in these instructions I refer to different aspects of the instrument, the body or form nature, through which all souls seek manifestation. I refer, therefore, to, one, the dense physical body, which is the sum total of all the organisms which compose it, these. Copyright Copyright 1998 Lucis Trust 2. The Treatise on the Seven Rays Volume 4 Esoteric Healing Possess the varying functions which enable the soul to express itself on the physical or objective plane as part of a greater and more inclusive organism. The physical body is the response apparatus of the indwelling spiritual man and serves to put that spiritual entity on repair with the response apparatus of the planetary logo, the life in which we live and move and have our being. 2. The etheric body, which has one main objective. This is to vitalize and energize the physical body and thus integrate it into the energy body of the Earth and of the solar system. It is a web of energy streams, of lines of force and of light. It constitutes part of the vast network of energies which underlies all forms whether great or small, microcosmic or macrocosmic. Along these lines of energy the cosmic forces flow, as the blood flows through the veins and arteries. This constant, individual, human, planetary and solar, a circulation of life forces through the etheric bodies of all forms is the basis of all manifested life, and the expression of the essential non-separateness of all life. 